If you're watching this right now, you're most likely someone who struggles with social anxiety, or maybe you just feel overwhelmed with social situations. I say this in a lot of my videos and I will continue to say it. I just want you to know, you're not alone. So many of us deals with this, whether it's that, you know, heart racing before you enter a room full of people or the constant worry of saying the wrong thing and being judged. Social anxiety can make, the, you know, the smallest interactions feel like an uphill battle. But here's the thing, and I say this also a lot in my previous videos, you can most certainly overcome it. You don't have to always stay stuck in the fear or avoid situations that make you feel uncomfortable. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I'm gonna to share some practical steps that I hope that resonates with you that could hopefully help you manage and maybe even overcome your social anxiety. I hopefully want you to feel empowered because I believe that you deserve to feel comfortable and confident in your own skin, especially when you're around others so without further ado let's dive into this topic the first step to help you know overcoming social anxiety is acknowledging that it's okay to simply feel this way sometimes we're so hard on ourselves you know for feeling anxious or uncomfortable in social situations the one thing we often do a lot is we will compare ourselves to others you know who seem a bit more confident and at ease and by doing this we often end up feeling like there's maybe something wrong of us but social anxiety is not a flaw it's just simply a response and like any response it could be understood and changed it's important to give yourself permission to feel anxious without judgment acknowledge your feelings instead of you know just you know pushing them away Try saying to yourself, okay, you know, I'm feeling anxious right now, you know, and that's simply all right. You don't need to pretend that everything is fine, but you also, you know, don't need to, you know, let anxiety take control over you. Once you allow yourself to, you know, feel what you're feeling, that's when you can take that first step towards managing it. I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached, is mad One of the things you know about social anxiety is that it makes us hyper focus on ourselves we start thinking what are they thinking about me am i saying the right thing do i look awkward and the more we focus on ourselves the more anxious we become it's like a cycle that you know feeds itself but here's a tip that can make you know a huge different shift your focus away from yourself when you're in a social interaction when you're in a social situation you know try to focus on the other person listen to what they're saying and then maybe ask them a question try to get curious who they are when they're sharing you know this shift does two things it takes the pressure off of you and it helps you connect with the other person right in front of you and this should naturally ease the anxiety a little bit social anxiety thrives on the fear of judgment but when you generally engage in the conversation you're no longer stuck in your head you're present and you're listening and that presence can ease so much of the tension you ultimately feel let's talk about those thoughts for a moment you know the thoughts that run in your mind when you're feeling socially anxious you know those ones where it's like oh i'm gonna mess this up you know they're not gonna like me i will embarrass myself these thoughts feel so real in the moment don't they but here's the truth they're just thoughts not facts one of the most effective ways to overcome social anxiety is to challenge these negative thoughts ask yourself is this thought you know based on reality is it a hundred percent true often you are realized that these thoughts are just assumptions and not truths maybe you've been in a social situation where people liked you and where things went well but anxiety makes you almost forget those positive experiences start practicing how to respond to your anxious thoughts with you know logic and compassion for example you know you might think oh everyone is gonna think i'm too awkward challenge that by saying i've had plenty of conversations that just simply went fine 
and even if I, you know, stumble, it doesn't mean people will judge me for it. You are certainly allowed to give yourself grace and understand that your thoughts don't define you. It, they're just simply habits of the mind that change you. One thing that is very important when dealing with social anxiety is simply just starting small. You don't have to jump right into the huge social offense right away, you know, if they feel overwhelming. Begin with, you know, smaller, more, you know, manageable situations. Maybe it's just simply saying hello to a colleague, you know, making eye contact with someone in a store or striking up a short conversation with a friend. These smaller interactions are like, you know, building blocks. Each time you step out of your comfort zone, even if it's just puny, you're building confidence in the process. And remember, it's not about being perfect in these moments. It's about taking small, baby, you know, courageous steps. Every time you push yourself to engage socially, it's just a tiny bit. You know, you're training your brain, you know, to see the social situations that aren't as scary as they may seem. Over time, these small wins add up. And before you know it, the situations that, you know, once seemed terrifying will now feel much more manageable. Kiki, they love me. Are you writing? Social anxieties can make us our own worst critics. We would play conversations in our heads, you know, pick apart every thing we said or did. And then we often beat ourselves up for not being perfect. But here's something that's very important for you to remember. You don't have to be perfect to be worthy of connection. You simply don't have to say the right thing every time. You don't have to impress everyone you meet what you need is self-compassion treat yourself with some kindness the same you would often to maybe a close friend if you stumble on a conversation remind yourself that it's simply okay we have awkward moments it's simply a part just being human when you feel anxious talk to yourself you know gently say i'm just doing the best i can and that simply is enough self-compassion helps ease the fear of judgment because it reminds yourself that you are worthy just as who you are the more you practice being kind to yourself the more your confidence will grow and the less power social anxieties will have over you Social anxiety tends to make us feel rushed sometimes, you know, like we often need to respond quickly or say something just to fill in that silence. But here's a tip. It's okay to take your time. You don't need to rush through conversations or react immediately. In fact, slowing down can actually help ease your anxiety. If you start to feel overwhelmed in a conversation, you know, pause and take a slow, deep breath. It gives you a moment to collect yourself a little bit and it singles to your body that you're in a safe zone that there is no immediate danger anywhere remember silence in a conversation is not your enemy it's natural to have pauses and you don't need to fill every moment with words sometimes silence is the best speaker in the room slowing down allows you to think more clearly to respond more thoughtfully and to engage more fully in the conversation when you're not rushing the anxiety starts to lose its grip you regain control again and that alone can make social situations feel a lot less daunting lastly remember you don't have to go through this journey alone talk to someone you know you trust most about how you are feeling whether it's a friend a family member or even if it has to be a therapist sometimes just sharing your experience can you know lighten the weight or social anxieties you might be even surprised by how many people around you right now in your daily lives 
you know understand what you are going through and here's something that's very important celebrate you know your progress you know every time you take a step no matter how small it is recognize those you're showing up for yourself by doing these methods and that is something to be proud of overcoming social anxiety is a process but you're on your way one step at a time you know one conversation at a time you're moving toward a place of greater confidence and ease. So to everyone that is dealing with social anxiety, I want you to know that you're simply not alone. It's a struggle that many of us face, but sometimes you can overcome it by acknowledging your feelings, shifting your focus, challenging your thoughts, practicing you know self-compassion and you'll start to feel more at ease in social situations if you take these you know steps you know little at a time remember it's okay to start small to take your time and to be you know kind to yourself along the way you don't have to you know have everything figured out right off the bat and you don't need to be perfect right off the bat you are worthy of connection just as you are Thank you so much and God bless you for taking a few moments out of your day for checking out this video. If this message hopefully resonates with you or if you're someone that struggles with you know social anxieties, if you're comfortable about it, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, the comment section below is, uh, you know, if you want me to talk about a future subject matter, you can leave it in the comments. I'm more happy to read, listen, and reply. If you hopefully found this video helpful as well, uh, feel free to like and subscribe, you know, for more content on personal growth, self-confidence, and finding peace in your journey. I am Adam representing Team SOS. In case I don't see you on the next one and this is your last video, make sure you have yourself a good morning, afternoon, evening, and most importantly, good night. I'm Adam. I'm signing off. Love you all. Stay safe. Be safe. Peace.